Static Binding and Dynamic Binding in Java How does static binding differs from dynamic binding in Java programming functionality? Hello everyone, I am Sukanya from GoiduHub Technologies and in this video we are going to discuss about static binding and dynamic binding. Binding by definition is connecting a method call to a method body is known as binding. Now there are two types of binding, static binding also known as early binding and dynamic binding which is also known as late binding. So static binding occurs when the type of objects is determined at the compile time by the compiler. Whereas in dynamic binding the type of object is determined at the run time. Now here is an example of static binding you can see and here the object is actually determined at the compile time. So here a class dog is created and a method void speaks is also made. In the system.outprintln statement you can see that dog barks, it returns dog barks. In the main method when I create a new object of dog class that is d1 and when I call that particular function d1.speak then the object is actually determined at the compile time and obviously the output will be as this function is called it will show that dog barks. Now the other example is of dynamic binding here you can see a main class animal is created firstly and then it has a void speak method and similarly it is displaying that animals speak. Now this particular dog class actually inherits the animal class, extends it, that is inheritance and it uses a method void speak and displays dog bark. So here actually the object of particularly animal class is created instead of dog class and it is an example of dynamic binding because it is determined at the runtime of the program. So firstly we are going to the code for static binding and then we will execute for the dynamic binding. So here you can see that I have written the particular code of static binding first and I have saved the file as dog.java. When I have compiled the file there are no errors and I have run the class file that is dog and it returns me that dog bark. So this is how static binding actually works. It implements the object of the class only and it is determined at the compile time only. Next we are going to run the example of dynamic binding. Here you can see that I have written the example of dynamic binding. Firstly the class animal is created and I have written the code for that class and then I have actually in the word bin method executed an object, created a new object for that animal class with the help of dynamic binding and I have called it. The output doesn't differ, it also shows dog bar but the object calling at the compile time and the runtime differs in the static and dynamic binding. So in this video we have studied about static and dynamic binding and studied example of both of them. For more examples and the concepts of Java, we will look into upcoming videos. Thank you.